Hey, welcome to the channel here at Luckily Not Doors. I'm John, and I want to share with you my first aid kit that I take adventure bike riding, ATVing, camping, just any time that you need to rely on yourself for first aid. So, this is a curated kit. This is not a kit that you buy online from some retailer. This is something that my wife and I put together. So, my wife and I are both military. She is also a firefighter and an EMT. So, I like to believe that this is a pretty decent kit. That's going to give you what you need to save your life if it comes to that or somebody else's. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the components. I'll kind of break it down for you. All right, so here's our kit. I went with the smallest thing that I could. This pouch is off Amazon. Most of these things are off of there. It's a simple molly pouch. Now, you want the most life-saving, most important thing on the front to make it as easy to get to, and that is our tourniquet. So if you need it, you don't want to be digging through anything to get at it. It needs to be readily accessible. It also doesn't have to be clean because it's not going over your wound. It's going above or below the wound. Well, above the wound. Just kind of depends. So also, when you put your tourniquet in here, do not leave it in the packaging. Prep it in a way so that it is easiest to put on. Because think it's possible you might be doing this with one hand. You do not want to be opening up packaging, especially if you have blood in your hands or other fluids. So... The hardest part should be opening this tab and getting this thing out. The rest of it should be easy to slide on your arm, on your leg, whatever, and cinch it down. So prep your tourniquet. So that's what we got in the front is the tourniquet. All right, now we're going to open her up. These are like this so that the zippers don't come loose. So say you're riding, you hit, and say you have this on the outside of your, outside of your bike, and you hit some brush or something, you don't want it opening up your first aid kit. All right, let's get this guy open. All right, so we'll open her up here. The next more most important thing to reach into here is our SAM splint. Because why would you be grabbing this? Well, probably because you broke an arm or a leg. So I did leave this one in the packaging just because you do not have to. So we got our SAM splint, antibacterial ointment. Of course, this also has some uh, pain relieving pain relieving properties. This is just Amazon buy one ounce tube, as small as, as small as possible. You don't need a massive tube of this stuff. This came with the pouch. It is a pin and a glass breaker. Glass breaker is not going to be really useful for you on a motorcycle, but who knows? Somebody might be trapped in a car. You need to get them out. So that's on there. Pen is in there. It is important that if you do use a tourniquet, there is a, a part on there to write the time that it was applied. That is very important for doctors to know because it may result in you losing the limb or not losing the limb. So pen helps with that. Let's get that out of the way. Next thing here, we have our skizzers. Scissors. These are EMT scissors. So basically, you crash, you break a leg, you need to get your boots off, or you need to get your, say you break an arm and you're wearing riding gear. Well, you don't really want to be trying to get your arms out of your sleeves or your legs out of your boots. You want to just cut it off so you don't cause more injury. That is what this is for. See my arm's broken? It's in the sleeve, you can just cut the sleeve off, apply whatever bandages, whatever you need to do, your sand splint, whatever, and move on. Cause less injury and less pain. So, scissors are in there. Next thing down on this side is just the basic stuff that pretty much everybody already has in their house, and that's where this came from. Alcohol pads, and then we have some assorted, like, regular types of band-aids in here. This is probably what you'll use most of the time out of this package, because you'll get little scrapes and little cuts and stuff, and... This is an easy one to replenish. There's really no reason to be buying a kit that's got all the stuff in it if you already have it in your house. So that one, so that's this side. So that's everything that goes in the front cover here. Now, let's dig into these two pouches here. We'll open this up here. Now, this was, might be a little hard for you to see. It's called Wound Seal. There's different brand names for it, but it's a quick clot. It's a clotting powder. So if, you're, if you have a lot of bleeding going on, you would apply this to where that cut or that major or minor artery is to help clot it, apply your gauze, apply your tourniquet, whatever might need to happen. This, that's what this is. There's a few small vials of it in there. Then we have uh, 
uh, gauze pads in here. I have large and medium gauze pads in here. And there's three per package. I believe I've got three, six, nine, like 12 little gauze pads. So that would be something you'd apply to a wound or like a scrape. Say you went down and cut your arm open. That would be your gauze pads. That would be your antibacterial. If it's bleeding pretty bad, that would be this as well. Move that to the side. All right. In here. So this is our other bandage. This is a self-adhesive bandage right here. And then gloves. So when you're working on yourself, you don't necessarily need gloves, and you're probably not going to put them on. But if you stop and help somebody else, always, always put gloves on. You never know what they might have. They may not know what they have. You never know. It's just basic practice. Put your gloves on. And then, of course, this adhesive bandage is exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to put your gauze pads on, any other bandages you might have. Wrap it to support. Put your sand splint on after that or your tourniquet, whatever multi-use type of bandage that is. So I'll move this out of the way. So end of the day, we've got a tourniquet readily accessible, self-adhesive bandage with the gloves, which of course I just have boxes of gloves around the house from you know working doing mechanics things or cooking things. Just a couple gloves, nothing super special you need there. Antibacterial ointment, sand splint, alcohol pads, and regular bandages gauze and wound seal or what you might call a quick clap scissors glass breaker and pen if you have just a small pen or something and you don't, you don't necessarily need glass breaker that just came with it but you should throw a little pen in there just so you can mark a tourniquet if needed otherwise you'll have other uses for a pen when you need one so there we go this is very basic this is an this is something you bust out um, for some basic things, but also it covers you for the most critical things right here, these two guys right here. So this is enough to save a life and to deal with some of those more inconvenient injuries as well. Not worried about bug bites, not worried about a bunch of little itty-bitty scrapes and bruises. This is just something we carry along to save a life and to treat uh, you know, most of the things that need to happen. So... That is our kit. So that is the breakdown of my first aid kit that I take with me. Of course, you can do whatever you want, whatever you think you need. I hope, I hope this gave you some ideas or helped you out. If you think I missed something, please share it with the community down below. We can all learn from each other. We can always do better. There's always other opportunities to make things better. So throw it in the comment section. Let us know. And then... If you do something different, again, let us know down below because we can always learn from each other. So I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything you want me to hit, just let me know in the comment section below. Shoot me a line. I read all the comments. I'll take a look. I'll try to help you out, do what I can for you. But uh, always, do not forget to like and subscribe. And uh, take care out there.